Nobody told me I had to speak after Doug Shields, but here we are. Um, so hello everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Bethany Hallam. I am the at-large member of Allegheny County Council. And I'm not gonna lie, even before I got elected, this bill was my priority. I knew just from talking to people in the community that the one thing that everyone was worried about was can we afford to live in Allegheny County? It wasn't about money, it was can our health afford to live in Allegheny County? Yes. Can we breathe our air? Can our kids breathe our air? Is our water safe to drink? Do you have to go and worry that every time you turn on the spigot, there's gonna be dangerous chemicals poisoning our bodies? That's what people are worried about. So when people wanna tell you that it's about bringing money to this region, it's about making sure we appeal to the Marshall Shales of the world, that is not what Allegheny County is about. That is not what we are about. That is not what our community is about. And when you have Rich Fitzgerald and his cronies on county council who are more accountable to the fossil fuel executives than they are to us, the voters, never let them forget that we are their bosses. Yes. Each and every one of us are their bosses. And if they're going to continue to interfere in the health and well-being, the safety of our communities, we have every right to fire each and every one of them. And we can do that by going to the ballot box. Twice a year, every year. You have seen the turnover that we've had on County Council, and this bill wouldn't even be up for consideration right now if it wasn't for all the work that I know. I saw so many Yins on the doors out there with me when we were working to make sure that we had teammates, allies, to pass substantial legislation that protects our communities. And this is the first step, protecting our parks. Because if there's one single piece of land in Allegheny County that you can say for certain is beyond the touch of the fossil fuel execs, should be beyond the touch of out-of-touch politicians, should be beyond the touch of the people who put money over community, money over health and safety. If you can't stand up for our parks as the one safe green space that we have, what are you going to stand up for? Woo! And so I want to remind you, yes, we need eight votes to pass this legislation. And I'm feeling pretty good about that part. But you remember that just as the governor's veto pen has protected us from so many horrible pieces of legislation in the past few years, our county executive's veto pen is the thing that has stopped all the great things that we need here in Allegheny County. We need 10 votes to override the veto. And I never stop counting until I hit 10. And I need each and every one of you to do that because I know lots of you have been in my email inbox and lots of you have been in my DMs. I need you to talk to these folks who are still saying they're on the fence. They're undecided because I can promise you they are not undecided about fracking. They are undecided about how much courage they are willing to show, how much fight they are willing to put up for you and for all of us. And right now I'm not seeing any of that from them. So I need you to reach out to them. I need you to tell them how important this is to you. To remind them that we are your boss, that you will answer to us and us only. Because Marcella Shale doesn't have all the votes that we have because the power of the people is always stronger than the people in power. Never forget that and let's go past this shit, all right?